Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. Look, regardless of what happens with Ripple regarding the SEC case, uh, XRP is set to thrive. And I've, I've got some articles that I think really help to illustrate that point. And there's a quote from attorney John Deaton, which he stated that today's XRP isn't 2013's token. And it's just interesting to see recent developments, think about them, the real world utility, and then think about some of the things that the SEC has stated, uh, which is completely ridiculous. So uh, I got a couple articles here from finance feeds, including this one uh, titled, Can the Ripple Lawsuit Be Traded with Wrapped XRP to Circumvent XRP Delisting in the United States? Uh, there's this one also from finance feeds uh, titled SEC vs. Ripple Lawsuit. Today's XRP isn't 2013's token, and they're referencing a comment from Attorney John Deaton there. And then I have something brand new from him today, which I think really brings home the point. XRP is not going away, and it's functionally useful. XRP and the XRP ledger itself. But uh, before going any further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a legal or financial background of any kind. I'm not offering legal or financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything uh, because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Now, as far as this first article goes, there's just one portion of this that I want to highlight here. And I mentioned several days or so ago that uh, that Binance, which is the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by volume, uh, they launched Wrapped XRP um, on, uh, on on their exchange. And, and Wrapped XRP, it's, it's actually built uh, on the uh, Ethereum blockchain. And so it's basically just a representation of XRP, and you, and you actually, in order to get wrapped XRP, you have to lock up actual XRP. And you can be like, well, why do that? Because Ethereum's slower and more costly to move it. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, uh, the Ethereum blockchain, despite its deficiencies on that front, uh, it has been widely adopted. <laughs> There's no shortage of people speculating on it. That's for damn sure, right? And so there are different people in different ecosystems that otherwise would not have exposure to XRP because they just wouldn't go out of their way to do it. But if they're already utilizing uh, anything within that ecosystem now, you can use XRP too. So it, it is what it is. Now, the, the fastest, cheapest way to move XRP is always on the XRP ledger itself, but still, it, it should expand the reach. So on the whole, it's a plus. And you can see here at the top of this article, they write, Wrapped XRP is a derivative product that is pegged to the digital asset that the SEC claims to be a security in what has been dubbed the cryptocurrency lawsuit of the century. And then they have this little subheading where they're talking about wrapped XRP. And check this out. Because there's a there's this thought, and I, I got something to say about this. There's this thought that wrapped XRP is not a security, even if XRP is a security. Check this out. Wrapped XRP, or WXRP for short, has recently joined the Ethereum network. WXRP is a token pegged to XRP that can be used on blockchains other than the XRP ledger. The wrapped asset is exchangeable one-to-one -one with XRP held in reserve by a custodian that facilitates wrapping XRP and unwrapping wrapped XRP. WXRP is a derivative product that is pegged to the digital asset that the SEC claims to be a security in what has been dubbed the cryptocurrency lawsuit of the century. The outcome of the court case will have direct implications on Ripple and XRP, although these two words are not interchangeable. The precedent will likely dictate the course of the crypto ecosystem in the United States and potentially across the globe, given the country's influence. While investors outside the United States are free to trade XRP, that does not apply to U.S. residents at the moment. But buying and selling wrapped XRP would go under the scope of the CFTC as derivatives trading. Uh, so that part I've got to take issue with. I disagree with that. As much as I, I kind of, in a way, would kind of like that to be true. So a representation of there's like a some sort of loophole where even if it's not real XRP, then it could be traded on exchanges in the United States. Uh, no, uh, SEC Supreme Leader and Dictator Kim Jong Gary, uh, he has made it very clear that any representation of an asset that is a security is also a security, and they will pursue that as well. So no, you're not going to be seeing wrapped XRP on Coinbase anytime soon. Not until this is settled. Doesn't mean it couldn't be in the future. But uh, as things stand now, no, it's not going to happen. So I got to take this, this the, the, the author of this article in Finance Feeds. Nothing it's Finance Feeds. I like, I like their, um, their platform, actually. But uh, they're wrong on the facts there. And as, again, I don't want that to be true. I'm just saying they're, they're most certainly wrong. Um, and then there is this from Finance Feed. SEC v. Ripple Lawsuit. Today's XRP isn't 2013's token. 
On Tuesday, Finance Feeds covered the integration of wrapped XRP on Binance and how it could be used to trade the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit in the United States while crypto exchanges have XRP delisted. Attorney John Deaton, representing the interests of more than 50,000 XRP holders who feel the Securities and Exchange Commission failed to protect them, has great, I'm sorry, has recently tweeted about wrapped XRP and how it proves his point regarding the amicus curiae argument. And here's the tweet from attorney John Deaton. He wrote the following. Very significant news for XRP holders regarding our amicus argument. It demonstrates another reason to own XRP independent of Ripple's efforts. Today's XRP isn't 2013's token. Yes, and so even if you could argue successfully that uh, the 2013 version of XRP was sufficiently centralized rather than decentralized, you sure as hell can't do that today. And I gotta ask you, if Ripple's in charge, if they're a common enterprise, how is it that uh, the creators of Wrapped XRP were able to create Wrapped XRP without the express permission from Ripple Labs? How is it possible? Because Ripple had nothing to do with this and didn't give permission. Well, that's because it's decentralized. And if there is no centralized entity, then there is no common enterprise, which is one of the four prongs of the Howey test. And if that's not there, then it's not a security. Could not be more clear. So even if Ripple did something wrong and illegal, and I'm not ceding that point, but even if they did, then still today's XRP, clearly not a security. And the SEC doesn't care to acknowledge that. They're harm, like as, as Attorney Jeremy Hogan put it, I'd have to paraphrase here, but he said that we're basically like civilian casualties in this whole process. He said something to that effect. I'm like, yep, that sounds about right. Attorney Jeremy Hogan absolutely nailed it when he said that. But it gets even more absurd. Take a look at this, this very short thread from Attorney John Deaton from, from just this afternoon. Using the XRP ledger to solve the Bitcoin problem. What's the Bitcoin problem? It's slow and expensive. Bitcoin maxis look to Lightning Network as a layer two solution for the Bitcoin problem. In my opinion, uh, Jasker and Cambo, and that's, uh, I, I apologize if I'm butchering the name, um, it's the individual on the screen here. Jas Jasker and Cambo uh, is the founder and CEO of a firm called Spend the Bits. And so John Deaton writes, in my opinion, Jasker has developed a better solution so he's talking about a better solution than Lightning Network. And he says, spend the bits, utilizes the XRP ledger. Just as Chris Larson demonstrated, using XRP to send Bitcoin, spend the bits allows you to spend your Bitcoin in seconds securely and practically free. For example, spend the bits can move $10 trillion worth of Bitcoin for 0 0.00005 XRP. Watch the demonstration in the video below. What's insanely absurd, and this is my favorite point, this is the primary reason I want to bring this up here, check this out. What's insanely absurd is the SEC is claiming the Bitcoin you spend or move is not a security, but the 0 .00005 XRP that is used to transfer or spend the Bitcoin is a security. Wrap your brain around that argument. <laughs> I can't. It's impossible, John. But isn't that a ridiculous... I mean, it's, well, he made an incredible point, but isn't it a ridiculous truth? Because look, what's happening here effectively, and I don't pretend to know all the plumbing of Spin the Bits. I'm just... I'm aware of Spin the Bits. The Bits are a Canadian firm, and right now, at least, only Canadians are able to use the platform. But they, they have ambitions to expand globally. Uh, and, and so... Um, and so anyway, what we're talking about here is having a representation of, uh, of Bitcoin on the XRP ledger because the XRP ledger has a built-in decentralized exchange. You can issue assets that are representative of anything. So what we're talking about is having a representation of uh, Bitcoin on the blockchain. And there are ways, I don't know if they, uh, if they do like a one-to-one -one lockup in terms of what's, you know, relative, well, depending on what, um, you know, the, the, the market rate would be for, for Bitcoin or XRP if they're taking that type of stuff. Again, like I said, I don't know all the plumbing, but there are ways to, to lock up actual Bitcoin to make sure that uh, you know it's everything's on the up and up. But basically, there's a representation of Bitcoin on the XRP ledger, and that moves blazing fast. So those payments are just as fast as XRP itself because it's just, again, it's an issued asset that's representative of Bitcoin on the blockchain. So that's real utility, though. So the Bitcoin in this transaction... Not a security, but the 0 .00005 XRP that's eaten up to make the transaction happen, uh, that, that's the security. 
what in the ever loving hell kind of sense does that make? It's completely absurd, is it not? But look, it's, it's more utility. Ripple's not in charge. That's why I keep saying, like, XRP is set to thrive. It's not going away. It just keeps getting more and more and more adopted. <sighs> I'll go ahead and wrap up there, though, because I feel my gears are starting to get all ground up here. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo.